What's up, world? This is your man, Sam Now. I'm pissed off as hell right now because I tried to let everybody know that when I was out there filming all this summer about these goddamn abandoned houses and how the fuck they need to be boarded up because these kids might get themselves raped, I tried to show people that what's going on out here in these abandoned houses and these, these, these neighborhoods that are so messed up that these kids don't know what's up. Now all of a sudden we got a big tragedy that didn't just happen in the city of Detroit where a child has just been taken from school and raped in one of these abandoned houses and here's the damn story local four news begins right now with a breaking news alert we want to update you now on breaking news we're following on detroit's east side 13 year old boy snatched from a school and raped this happened on lake point street let's get right to rob maloney who is live on the scene horrendous situation rob Yes, Steve, it's just horrible. Now, it happened between 2 and 3 o'clock here. The Wayne Elementary School, the, the uh, parents of the neighborhood here are greatly distressed because the 13-year-old boy uh, was inside the school. We're told that there were two men, a white man and also an African-American man, driving a green pickup truck. Sat in wait, went up and knocked on the door. The little boy, unfortunately, apparently opened the door. And the claim is, is that he was pulled out of the school bodily at that moment and brought down the street. This was the situation in the aftermath. On Detroit's east side, Wayne Elementary School, kids are supposed to be safe, and yet a little boy who answered the door when someone knocked made the wrong move at the wrong time. He, the neighbors of the school were able to find him after this terrible assault. I helped the little boy, I had the little boy sit down, I called the police, I asked the little boy what was, do he know a number to his parents? He gave me his grandmother's number. I called, the, um, I called his grandmother and notified her that I called the police, but her grandson has been raped. I saw the little boy coming down the street and he appeared to be in distress. And I asked him if he was okay. And he said he had just been attacked and assaulted. And he, his hands were tied. He did have blood on his face and he appeared to be injured. This has rocked this entire neighborhood. A mother crying desperately, wishing that her son was not involved. Child goes to a school, there's no way that nobody should be at that door. A child shouldn't be able to walk out of the school on his own. Now, we're told that the boy was brought down the street about maybe a half a mile to an abandoned home. What? He was assaulted. The men apparently... Abandoned left. home? He was able to walk away. The neighbors say they found him with his hands tied behind his back. So they, they believe his story of what happened to him. They also said he had bruises and a bloody face. Detroit police looking for these two men tonight. But it is a very sad situation out here and a lot of frustration because it did take the police a long time to get out here once they did call them. And in fact, the grandmother came, got the little boy and brought him over to Children's Hospital. Back to you. Well, you got a, a confluence of a number of different problems here. We've talked about the problem of, of abandoned buildings near schools, too. Uh, no, we, I talked you know, about that. The school district saying anything about this yet? I put in a call to the, the school department and asked for any kind of a statement. No one was answering the phone. The teachers just now left the school, and they were not giving out any information. But clearly, the district has, is going to have to talk about this one uh. as to how a little boy who inadvertently opens a door ends up raped down the street. Unimaginable. All right, Rod Maloney from the east side of town. Updates coming on the stories. They're available to us. And see, and that's what I said. I thought I've been telling everybody. Now all of a sudden somebody is raped. And oh, now the news say that we've been talking about these abandoned houses. Y'all ain't been talking about shit. I've been talking about these abandoned houses and how we need to get them boarded up. And I hope somebody in the goddamn city council or somebody downtown that is in charge of that shit takes care of that before another one of our children end up raped. I'm talking about real shit, not no motherfucking shit to scare you. But now look at it. That's what already happened. Last night, and he was playing basketball.